Good morning and welcome to the Sherburne Public Library. It's time for another episode of Storytime. We're going to start out with our poem, Preening, by Frank Ash. Do you remember what kind of bird this is? It's a pelican. And what does preening mean? It means to clean. He's cleaning his wings and his feathers. Everybody get your wings ready. Preening every day. What a chore. Wing up. Leg out, tuck, twist, and stretch. Preening every day, what a chore. Wing down, leg in, bend, reach, and nibble. Nom, 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 nom. Preening every day is the price we pay to crouch, spring, and soar. Flying day and night, what a delight. Next, we're going to count our penguins. First, we're going to start out with... Oh, do you see any penguins? No, zero. Then we have one. Then we have two. Next, we have three, four, Five. Let's go backwards. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're going to do our poem, Five Little Penguins. Five little penguins on the icy shore. One dove in the water, and now there are four. Four little penguins. Standing near the sea, one dove in the water, and now there are three. Three little penguins with nothing to do. One dove in the water, and now there are two. Two little penguins, see them run. One dove in the water, and now there is one. One little penguin not having any fun. He dove into the water. And now there are none or zero. Great job. Now, speaking of birds, this is a different kind of bird. Can you recognize these? These are eagles. This book is called On Eagle Cove by Jane Yolen. Pictures by Elizabeth Dilemba. What color are these eagles? They're black, but how about their heads? What color are their heads? They're white, and what color are their beaks? Yellow. These are bald eagles because of their white heads. It makes them sort of look like they're bald. On Eagle Cove by Jane Yolen, pictures by Elizabeth Dilemba. Oh, look what the little girl has in her hand. It's a bird. And speaking of birds, we see the eagles. As I walked out towards Eagle Cove, wandering through a greening grove. Oh, look, what time of year do you think it is? Do you think it's summer or winter? It's winter. Why does it look like it's winter? Because of the snow. I saw just where the pathway led and spied a great big lake ahead. Tall trees shook fist at bluest sky just as a giant bird soared by. Oh, look carefully. What bird do they see? An eagle. <gasps> Above an ever I'm oh, sorry. Above an even bigger flew, and that was when I truly knew. Eagles, two. Let's count them. One, two. I signaled Mom so she could spy the eagles flying in the sky. At first, I thought it was a fight. They grasp each other's talons tight. Ooh, what's a talon? 
it's their nails, their claws. <gasps> Cartwheels all across the sky. Then broke apart and back did fly. They chased each other to and fro, then parted quite an aerial show. Have you ever seen birds sort of chase each other around, flying back and forth? <gasps> oh, look what this guy's doing. He's about to catch a fish. One with talons taught to fish, and then to share that new caught dish, the other off to a mammoth tree. On that tree, what did I see? What do you see in the tree? It looks like a nest to me. <gasps> a massive, messy, giant nest. And that was when I truly guessed. A mating pair. You know the rest. The nest was made of sticks, moss, grass. Interwoven, sure to last. But quite soon after, off they flew. Where they went next, I never knew. So what is their nest made out of? Sticks, moss, and grass. But two months later, we went back to their giant nesting shack. We climbed a big hill, found a cliff, both sat down and wondered if we'd see into the eagle's nest. Before we look in the eagle's nest, what time of year is it now? What comes after winter? Spring. Let's take a look in the nest. <gasps> what do you see? I see the eagles and some little baby eagles. Cool. And there they were, a perfect guess. <gasps> what is the adult eagle doing? He's feeding the little ones. It might be a worm. Oh, look at the little eagles. Do they have feathers like the big ones? No. Are they the same color like the big ones? No, they are not. <gasps> we saw a duel of large chicks avoiding all the pointed sticks. Each chick was half their parent size with fuzzy feathers, great big eyes. They're getting bigger, but they're still sort of fluffy. Ooh. They couldn't yet let they couldn't yet leave Penthouse Airy. The drop alone looked steep and scary, but Mom said soon enough they'd fly on eagles' wings across the sky. Oh look. In this picture, they're getting feathers. And what color are they now? They're brown. Are their heads white yet? Not yet. I knew they'd cartwheel like the rest, then find a mate, build a big nest. New year by year, that nest would grow, shading everything below. The limb, the bark, the roots of the tree, and standing there beneath us three. In a lovely greening grove, as we walked home from Eagle Cove. And that's the end of the story, but as we turn the page, oh look, we see some more information about bald eagles. Cool. Oh, they have an up-close picture of their talons. And this eagle is caught a fish. And there's an eagle in the nest with some baby eagles. And there's more information you can read about the different eagles. Cool on Eagle Cove by Jane Yolen, pictures by Elizabeth Dulemba. Now, if you have a chance, you can come by the library and pick up a kit to make your own little eagle. It'll look something like this. And the kit looks something like this. You take out the paper plate, and you'll need to color on the back side. The front side doesn't like the tape color. So you color on the back side and color that brown. Then you can take and glue the head on. 
and then you glue on the eyes, the beak, and the feet. And you've got your own little eagle. Okay, today's letter is the letter O. Can you make an O with your mouth? O. Nice and round. O. Let's sing our alphabet song and find out where letter O comes in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Can you think of some things that begin with the letter O? Let's go look for the letter O. Let's go look for the letter O. Let's go look for the letter O. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay, here's... It's an octopus. Octopus. Oh, let's count how many legs an octopus has. Ready? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. <gasps> Up next, we wear these. They're like jeans, but look, they've got a bib and suspenders that go over your shoulders. They're called overalls. Overalls begins with the letter O. Overalls. And then this shape is called an oval. Say oval. Great. <gasps> oh. Here's a different kind of bird. Has long legs, a long neck, and usually they're very big. They're bigger than Mr. Morton sometimes. They're called an ostrich. And some people even ride ostriches. Oh, next, this little guy you usually see in the river or the ocean. He's got a fish swimming on his back. He's an otter. Can you say otter? That begins with the letter O. And then we have this little green thing, and they're about this size usually. They're green with a little red pimento inside. It's called an olive. Can you say olive? Good. And then we have our capital O and our lowercase o. Now on our books, we have some O's like on. On has an O. Oh, there's another O hiding in cove. There's an O, too. I have, let's see, oh, here's a book called Our Table. There's a big O. Here we have Old Man of the Sea. Old has an O, and of has a little O. Here is Out of a Jar. Out has an O. Of has an O. The floating field, how a group of Thai boys built their own soccer field. Well, there's that word of has an O. And own, can you say own, has an O. Ooh. Here we have orca whale pods. Orca has an O. Pods has an O in the middle. Oh, we just saw some of these. Sea otters. Otter has an O. And look, there's an O right here. Creature features ocean. And speaking of oceans, we have our summer reading program coming up at the end of June. Well, June 29th, we're going to have our kickoff celebration. And for the month of July, we're going to do Oceans of Possibilities. So hopefully you can come to the library and get some more information about our summer reading program at the Sherburn Public Library. Okay, I think that's all for today. So now I need everybody to stand up and be a penguin. Here we go. 
Penguin, penguin, turn around. Penguin, penguin, touch the ground. Penguin, penguin, waddle in place. Penguin, penguin, make a funny face. Penguin, penguin, flap your wings. Penguin, penguin, dance and sing. Penguin, penguin, slide on the ice. Penguin, penguin, wave so nice. That's it for today. Have a great day and keep on reading.